Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish and today we're going to be talking about a game I've been playing which is currently early access but it'll be out very very soon and my experience is enough to review it so I'm going to review the game Void Train. Void Train is a first person survival adventure game where you can travel through the voids of the world and upgrade your train along the way. You can play as a mechanic who has fallen into the new world for them with their own rules and laws. On the way, you'll meet outlandish creatures, many secrets, puzzles, and challenges. With multiplayer or solo, this can either be a fun game or a very boring game. And that is where I can tell you in the later of this review. After the introduction, you'll be standing on a hand train cart, figuring out where I am, what do I do, and the only way you can use your wits and ability is to push forward. And throughout the game, you end up finding things when you can fly around and grab like resources to upgrade yourself and upgrade the small hand train cart into a full powered steam engine rock on. But I, I believe the world you're surrounded with is the void world with nothing but the tools you can get off the carts and glide as I've said. Uh, you start an adventure through the game, will be creatures and bandits along the way because you are on a hand train cart and the only option is to collect resources and keep yourself alive and survive. Some of the stuff you need to get, you'll need it in order to swim in the void. I think that's the best way to describe it. You can literally fly and glide around to collect your resources, bring it back and start building things. Because at the end of the day, you are on a hand train car and the only option is to collect resources, upgrade your train to craft a massive, powerful train. And trust me, you can do that. So upgrading things in the game is pretty simple, but it's going to take time and you're going to need it in order to get somewhere in the game. But once you build your research labs, you can start from workstation to labs, to armory, and to chests so you can store stuff. And as soon as you keep going through your research unlocking, you'll learn so many crazy stuff in the later game. This research station is very important to learn things because you can end up building stuff so you can um, cook food or even make equipment and weapons. But I've also noticed when fighting enemies like who are shooting at you, you can get different frames for your weapon, which I think was pretty cool. Um, like I picked up a barrel and uh, a grip from my gun and I decided to dismantle the revolver and then and it made it a little bit better. With that being said, there's really not much to talk about the visuals. The visuals, <laughs> what can I say? It's pretty stunning. Seeing the creatures around doing their little funny cute thing uh, while in the mist is a giant monster lurking giving you a sense of scared and panicky because it could probably be something that might kill you I'm not so sure with with random floating islands to broken things that are in the void it's it's really a good visual eye-catching game And that being said, we didn't even get down to this, so we're going to get down to the meat and stack of the sound and audio. The sound of the game are so clear and clean, it makes the adventures so perfect and relaxing, considering it's a survival game. The music is such a nice touch to a game where there's a moment in the game picks up from a relaxing and calm sound to let's get ready for something is about to get happen and it gets really intense. With all everything and building train, going through different places, you reviewing your friends, gliding about, going further out there, solving puzzles as well as um, secrets of the lore of the game, I do have some complaints, and I have them pretty, uh, pretty, pretty meh. Now, with all the good things, there are bad things, and I have to say about this game, this king, this game is where I'm going to talk about now that it can be boring. It can be really, really boring, to the point I nearly gave up after playing two hours into the game. Only because you need a lot of things and a lot of resources in order to get somewhere in the game. But that's where my second complaint comes to, is researching things. I hate it. I absolutely hate the researching things. Once you get the materials, which is pretty grindy to get, and you end up researching an item, say for instance an armory or a lab, or even bandages. All, all of that material you gathered uh, will be gone, only just to unlock a blueprint. 
So you you know you have to go out again to get it. I feel like this would be pretty annoying once you're in more of the later of the game where you've got something big like like a big metal train and you need more resources and more grind to make it. I feel like that's not going to be fun and it's just going to get bored really quick for players. The first few hours of the game is very boring. <laughs> in my eyes, it's very very boring and I want something cool to happen. I want something I can be I want something that can really reel me in, but it it didn't. I had to grind and grinding made me nearly give up on the game and I'm guessing for people who are have wanting to play an adventure survival I feel like they should put more resources or make it easier to research things without losing your stuff and just getting into the meat sack of this game. There's not really a lot of storytelling, there's a narrator talking which rarely talks and you just have to keep pushing yourself. Uh, another thing I was pretty annoyed about is the storage. The storage, when you get your chests, you only get three slots. Why? <laughs> Why do you have to have a chest that only holds three items. I know it says you can unlock more later in the game or it says like there's two more bars, I think, but having it three already? Are you kidding me? Like you could save up so much resources and the research could be a little bit quicker for any player and doesn't have to grind constantly to just try and get into the game for the next hour or two. And uh, not to mention the combat is horrible. It really is. I, I, I hate to say it, it's not the best, all right? I, I can see, I, I reckon when, the, like, I reckon when the full game comes out, it will be a lot better, but there is a lot of bugs when it comes to, um, hand, you know, like, shooting, like, a, a, an example, um, a bandit fight, I was fighting those, like, bandits who were shooting back, but for some reason, I felt a huge lag spike in the game as well, and, and leaning, why would you add leaning to a game that doesn't have leaning abilities? Auto leaning is a uh, is quite good in certain games, but this one, when you aim down the sight, even in the iron sight, it doesn't even hit him. There's no way at all. But the overall for this game, for the players who have a lot of time with their lives in their real life, will enjoy this game. But for players who just want the action and adventure, Really not sure this will be a good take on you guys. Speaking of take, it, this game is a fresh take for survival genres. With a train going one direction and collecting things whilst it's moving is really cool. I think for people who are actually looking for a co-op game and again, like I said, have, their, have a lot of time to play together and not worry about resource gathering, this will be a great adventure. The visuals are stunning and the audio is perfect. At the moment, this is currently on Epic Games right now, but it will soon be on Steam and Xbox. Um, like I said, for a moderately good game, this really is, but you need to have the time and patience. And that's my review on Void Train. I gotta say, this was pretty hard for me. There's gonna be more reviews, there's gonna be more horror, there's gonna be more exciting games coming out soon. There is gonna be, it's gonna be great. And you know what? If you hit the subscribe button, you'll be updated on anything. If you've got a game to recommend or suggest, then uh, feel free to jump on the comments. I was gonna say Discord, but you're not on my uh, Discord. <laughs> Uh, if you want to see more of me, my channel will be in the description. There is so much stuff I've been up to as of late, from my Twitch streaming to actually co making content again. So, uh, guys, you got to go check it out. And that is Void Trains. I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Peace out.